Hey, this is Mike Hobbs, and those of you who don't actually know my background, I've actually been in the military since May 15th, 2001, and yesterday was my ETS. Now, if you don't know what ETS means, uh, that just means I'm done. Okay, that was my last day in the Army officially uh, 12 years later. Now, some people, you know, always said, you know, why don't you stick it around? You're over the hump, you know, 12 years, you just need eight more and then you get that retirement uh, for the military. And what's cool is I actually have my ID card here. I don't know if you can see that date, but it says expires May 14th, 2013. And uh, this card is officially expired. I am done with the military. Now, what what does this mean to me? You know, why why is this important to me? Because like I said, People told me, you should just get your 20 years. You're, you're going to lose a ton of benefits if you get out, uh, which I do because my insurance right now, just so you all know, it was $200 a month for my entire family and a $1,000 cap every year. So literally, we had our, our baby. It didn't cost us anything. It cost us like $500 for our entire baby, but then they reimbursed it. So it didn't cost us anything to have our babies hasn't cost us anything for any of our medical. Uh, I mean, it was great insurance. So a lot of people are like, you're losing all that. And the alternative nowadays are like 500 a month and you have to still pay a ton of money, right? Uh, so why am I getting out? Why am I getting out? Well, it's because of this home-based business that we've been able to do. And, and what's significant about this day, about yesterday, my ETS date, is it was the last thing that I was really holding on to that stopped me from being free, truly free. Okay, you know, I mean, we fight for freedom in the army, which is which is amazing, and I'm, I'm very very proud to have served for 12 years, and uh, I've went on three tours of duty. Uh, two of them were to Iraq. I've been to Bulgaria. I've been to Germany. I've been to a lot of different places, Ireland. Uh, different countries, different states around the United, the United States and trained. Um, but here, here's why I wanted to get out. Because every few years, you know, they deploy us. And, you know, I missed probably, I don't know, I, I remember I missed my daughter. I almost missed her birth. I remember I was, I was talking to my commander and I was like, you know, my wife's, you know, nine months pregnant. Are you going to let me, you know, be able to go home on leave and, and see my daughter be born? And and they were like, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then they finally let me go home on leave for a four-day leave so I can uh, witness my daughter be born. And on the fourth day, she wasn't, you know, she didn't, she didn't go. You know, she didn't actually have the baby. Uh, it, she was actually going to be late. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, I called the army officer and I was just like, you know, hey, can I, can I extend any way that I can extend? Uh, we'll, we'll get her induced the next day or whatever, just so I can stay home and, and see my daughter reborn. And it took them a while to get it approved. And they finally said, okay, we'll extend you four more days. If you don't have the baby by then, then you're just going to have to come back. Sorry. You know? And so we scheduled the inducement the last day, and, and guess what? It actually went to the last day. We had to induce my wife at the time, and then I, I saw my daughter be born. You know, it was that close. I almost missed my daughter's birth because of a deployment uh, that I was in. And then, guess what? As soon as she was born, the next day I was on a flight, and I was gone. Okay? Okay. Uh, later on in my life, I, I went on another deployment and I missed my daughter's first steps. <laughs> you know, I missed her, you know, first words and things like that. Um, uh, fortunately, I was, I was here for every birth of my children. You know, I'm, I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, you know, so that, that is something that I have been able to do. But here's what's beautiful, guys. Because of the home-based business that we've been able to build, because of what we have here, you know, I don't ever have to worry about that again. I don't ever have to worry about it. We have a seven-month-year-old boy uh, named Luke right now. 
I'm not going to have to worry about missing his first steps, missing his first words, missing his, you know, karate classes when he's older, or missing school projects, or missing anything. Because I am truly free now. I am truly free. This card is done. I'm retired after 12 years from the military. This is an exciting thing. And it, well, it all is because of our home-based business. Because now we're going to have to pay you know, expensive immunizations. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's at least $500 to $1,000 just to get your kids immunized. And I'm going to have to pay that out of pocket now because we don't have uh, the awesome insurance. But the beautiful thing is we can do it. We can do it. This business has allowed us to have that freedom. You know, and that's why I'm doing this. You know, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the freedom. I'm doing it because I'm helping others become free as well. And that is the beautiful thing. So if you are excited about freedom, if you're excited about, you know, quitting your job or, you know, getting out of the military yourself, if you're excited about that, I want you to tell me in the comments below. Like and share this video so that we can get all the excited people out there. If you're excited to build a home-based business, if you're excited to get out of that dead-end job, comment below. Let me know because I'm excited uh, for you and I'm excited for myself for my, for my future years of freedom and no more, you know, going to the military and, and, and you know, spending my life away. From my family so with that make it a great day comment below with your with your feedback and i'll see you guys in the next video